everybody, hope you're keeping really, really well. My name's Lynn. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you a bit of fun and laughs. Well, we have a conservatory here where we live where we overwinter all the cacti and succulents. Now it's the middle of winter here in Ireland and it's been bitterly cold, it's freezing. And of course, a lot of you will be very familiar with the condensation effect where obviously it's warmer in the house and it's colder outside and you've got the condensation on the windows. Anyway, our conservatory is a bit of a nightmare because although it looks wonderful and the plants get loads of light in there, which is, I'm lucky I'm blessed I can overwinter them there. The other problem I have, I find it's a real pain, is because it's a flat roof. Well, the condensation obviously lifts up and when it starts to, to condensation drips down, it showers all into the, into the conservatory and the pools of water everywhere and the beads of water on the roof. I'm not joking you. This is funny. So my wonderful boyfriend, Sean, has managed to work out a really clever invention, which you're going to be sharing with you now in this video, where he actually scrapes it all off. And believe it or not, every time we have to do it, bear in mind this is every couple of days, we scrape off two and a half litres of water off the roof. This is unreal when you're seeing this video. But he's managed to do this and it's been brilliant to help keep as much condensation down as possible. As a lot of you may be aware, cacti and succulents have to overwinter as completely bone dry as they possibly can because if water gets onto them, it can cause rot and dampness. So I don't use a heater at all in my conservatory unless it, it goes beyond, beyond zero during the night, which is very, very rare here in Ireland. But it has been cold. So anyway, I just want to share this with you in this video. I'm sure you'll have a few fun and games and laughs when you see Send you loads of love and happiness from Ireland as always. If you like the video, give it a like for me. I'd really like that. Please do subscribe as well if you haven't done already. And you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Anyway, enjoy the video, guys. Bye. Now, this is my wonderful boyfriend, Sean. I'm going to ask him what he's done to get rid of the conversation. Condensation. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm totally mad. Condensation off the roof. Uh, basically, um, hi guys, uh, basically what we use is like a, it's like a double ruler, it must be a paint ruler or something like that, um, put a wee hole in the top of it, attached it to this uh, pole which is obviously hollow, uh, empty container, put a drill hole in the top of it and then that goes into that and it's basically making sure I don't knock down the cat thing. And then as I'm tumbling along like that, the water will start to come down. The hole will be up the camera the whole mainly. Full of clever ideas is Sean. Brilliant how he's invented this. <laughs> Somebody else's idea. Oh, that's great though, what a good idea. So the water comes down in the pole Do that and gathers into the little water holder at the bottom there. No more raining men anyway in the conservatory. Hey. It's uh, and basically it's um uh, so basically it's 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 not perfect but it's not perfect but it does the uh, the job like because it's um just so high up you can't do nothing. I want to know where it's all coming from. You would not believe the amount of water that is just coming into this conservatory on the roof. It's mad. That is all coming from the roof of the conservatory, guys. You would not believe it. It's only two panels. It's mad. It's, uh... Then about all the cacti, other than the carnivorous plant here, the monkey, the monkey um, cup plant, the rest are all kept completely bone dry. So this is just all coming in from, I don't know, the nooks, just just the the difference in the humidity between the warm air inside the house and the cold air outside. It's all dripping into it. Make me want to go to the toilet. 
I know, it'd be a lot easier for orchids or rainforest plants. You still got the price ticker on the back of that. <laughs> the Euro bargain for the second hand shop. <laughs> so basically, if you have a look here, isn't it? so it's just a sealed tray, and you can see yourself there's a bit of a the hole inside, um, I, I put, put a drill hole into her, the top of it, and uh, obviously then the water goes in, it goes through it. Brilliant, brilliant invention. There you go guys, so there you go, that's how we get rid of all the condensation on our flat roof conservatory. Did you say we? We, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the one just standing here letting Sean do all the yeah. work. But you know, Sean is over six foot tall, so he's got long arms, and I'm only five foot, so it's easier for him to do it than me. <laughs> there you go. There you go, using all the water, recycling it again, giving it to the plants. Purified water, definitely. Waste not, want not. Good way of cleaning the floor, guys. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> we must have the cleanest floor and the cleanest roof in Ireland. And the Irish jig too. <laughs> Where would you get the likes of that? <laughs>